Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone. So today we are gonna talk about some materials from our first meeting on English morphosyntax. So the first one we have word in linguistic context. So what is word? Word is a speech sound or a combination of sounds that carry objective or practical meaning and may consist of a single morpheme or combination of morphemes. So <clears throat> how can it be a word? First one, it has meaning. And the second one, it can be used on its own. And three, it's unintelligible. And the last but not least is is the word is make some sort of sense. There are some examples of word. It could be consist of a single best word or it could be ad added by prefixes or suffixes. Then we move to morpheme. Uh, it includes of lexical morpheme, inflectional and functional morpheme. So first one is what is morpheme? Morpheme is the smallest meaningful morphological unit of a language that cannot be further defined or analyzed. What are the differences between all of the morphemes? First one, we have lexical morphemes. So this, this morpheme is known as free morpheme that can be uttered with meaning. It include of verb or noun. For example, bottle, book, run, it, or etc. And then we have inflectional, inflectional morpheme, known as bound morpheme, which cannot be uttered with meaning. It includes of prefix or suffix, example as lie, add, re, and etc. And then we have functional morpheme, that this morpheme is cannot stand alone with without free or free plus bond morpheme. Uh, it includes of preposition on and or pronouns. For example, at, in, on, that, this, she, he, it, etc. So we will, uh, I will give you some examples. Uh, first one is his cars. So his is the functional morpheme. And then we have car is the free morpheme or lexical morpheme. And the last one is as in the end of the of the sentence on cars, uh, as is bone morpheme. And then second one, we have live happily. Live is free morpheme, so that's happy. And lie is the bone morpheme or the suffix. And then we have she jumped. She as the functional morpheme, jump as the free morpheme, and we have id as the bound morpheme. Then the third one, we have base, best word. What is best word? So best word is a morpheme of a word that cannot be broken down into smaller units and gives its basic meaning. Prefixes and suffixes are always added to best words. So basically, best word is uh, another name of free morpheme, but sometimes it added by prefixes or suffixes to, to become a new meaning or a new word. Then we move to the sum example. Uh, the, uh, the little guide for this example is the bold is best word and ital the italic is prefix or suffix. This is the first example is uncomfortable. So un is the prefix while comfort is the best word and able is the suffix. So that's the redo. Re is the prefix and do is the, and do is the best word. We have disadvantages. This is the prefix. Advantage is the best word. And S is the suffix. Reusable. Re is the prefix. Use is the best word. And able is the suffix. Inspirable. In is the prefix. Separate is the best word. And able is the suffix. We move to root. 
So what is root word? Root word is a part of base word that come from another language. Unlike base word that can stand alone, root word cannot often stand alone. Usually root word comes from Latin or Greek language. So basically root word is still a part of base word, but uh, it's not the same because it has some differences and meaning. So we can move to the some example to make it easier. Aquamarine, so the root word is aqua, which is come from the Latin language, and it means water in English. We have egoistic, ego is the root, and it means self-importance. Then we have photograph, photo is light in Latin. We have television, uh, Tele is the root and it means far off. Then we have technological, technological, which techno is the root word, means art, science, or skill. There are some resources that help me to make this presentation that you can look up to and looking for more information about this presentation. So this presentation was made by me, Marcinda Zafaulia, and kudos to my lecturer, Mr. Japan. And if you ha have some criticism or suggestion or even question, you can contact me through my email. And thank you so much for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.